population, they don't know anything about that monetary cost. It's not something that we highlight. And largely people who are re-entering into the tech, tech, tech. hospitality, tech. cannabis, and the arts. For a business or a company that wants to take on uh, our clients, uh, the government also provides what a WATSI, a work opportunity tax credit, if for especially for reentry. Okay, they're on the qualified list. So I'm not I'm not sure how to exactly articulate that, but if we're providing a subsidy as an entity, as us, and then after that's exhausted, and you want to keep that reentry person uh, uh, hired, okay, then the federal government, the state, will provide work opportunity. Why don't we have five that will be in both? That's what we need. Yeah, we need six minutes. Oh, you can't even record it? No, you can't record it. Oh. <laughs> All right, thank you. 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Okay. It's Dawood! So before we be pouring out, I am so anxious to hear about this day. Just want to, one, I want to dedicate this day to our colleague Patrick Carr, who asked to speak is in surgery. Yeah. And you know he has been struggling with his health for quite a few months and he got the courage to go on and do this surgery today. So I just want to take a moment of silence and dedicate this day to Patrick, which I have heard from various people has been an awesome day. So I know he's going to have an awesome um, recovery and treatment and he's going to be all right. All right. Just like I'm standing here up and walking today after two weeks out Amen. of Bilateral case, sir. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to be coming for you on the break. We're coming for you on the mercy. But we just thank you, Father, for all you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you will do. We thank you in advance right now, even before the breakthrough. Most importantly, Father, we want to thank you for what you have not done. You have not taken your hands of protection, your guidance around success in San Francisco. Yeah. There are a multitude of leaders and administrators that are here right now that has spearheaded, that has been here for the inception of Success Center's uh, 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 beginnings. And I want to thank them that, that, that has been present. I want to thank those that are just coming on board. I want to thank those that are, that are on fire right now in this process, that is leading by example, that are change makers, that are doing things above and beyond my, my imagination to let you know that we appreciate you and everything that you do. I want to honor everyone that's present at this present moment right now. I'm talking about those that's just coming on, that's, that's making changes. Those, 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 those change makers, those that are on fire, as I stated previously, that are making things just be happening. There's harmony. And, and, and even when it's rough, we just know we got to improve in other areas of the, of the program. You know what I mean? So I just want to honor the program of succession. I want to honor the CEO, the leader, because you're only as strong as your leader. I need you to know that as well. You have some, some great folks that sit in key position, that have multi, that multitask in different areas, and, and bring it all together, man. So this is one fabric that's got many threads that is woven together to make this beautiful one. All right? However, let me just concentrate the, the, the food. So I want to thank you for the food we're about to receive. Prepare the table, nurse the hands that has prepared it, nurse the mind and the body. For Christ's sake, Lord is my shepherd, I should know one. Thank you. So I just wanted to, you know, again, just take a little moment of silence as we just uh, send prayers and uh, Godspeed to, to our colleagues, Patrick Carter. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So if y'all can go get your plate and come right on back so we can do our debrief and report out on so
Extraordinaire. When we need a truck, I call him and I call Dre. But today I can call Dre because we didn't have you, Larimore. Larimore. Um, you know I'm but if we need a truck, if I need somebody to help me set up, because before we was only, you know, five, eight full time staff and three part time staff when we first came back. And now we're about 112. And um, I had to rely on my family. The boys grew up in, in success centers and largely my husband. So again, I just want to thank you, Big Job. You know, if you got one of them vintage shirts, you know you've been here since day one. If you got one of these, but that was mine. No, 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 you know, you, hey, you were too big for it. You know, I created a little one for you. You, you know you as a day one. And so thank you, thank you, sir, for helping me and just being my helpmate. And, uh, Following my dream. Um, as well, today, y'all had a good time today? Awesome, yeah. awesome. So this was a, a tremendous coordination event, uh, trying to figure out how to bring us all together and Daddy. do something that was engaging as well as team building. And so these good people hold it down for us every single day at our sites and our emerging sites. And so they have done an awesome job, as you know. And then today, making sure we were hooked up with our partners, making sure the PowerPoints was on tight, making sure the centers were set up uh, single-handedly while you all were able to go and visit and do other sites. So first of all, I want to just thank Ms. Laurie of Pride. Woo! 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 Director, thank you, love. And then uh, Jessica holding it down for Tracy. She and Tracy got a little dynamic duo going on over there. <laughs> Job we have to coordinate us today, so thank you, Jeff. Thank you. And I will thank John when I get here. And then Miss Dominique held it down in Oakland. Woo! Thank you, Miss Dominique. 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 Thank and doing all this again in record breaking time because we had we were closing books and we were writing reports and getting new contracts off the ground and these good folks still found time to make this day happen. So thank you, thank you for being my leg. And then to my girl Nina. Where you at, Nina? Nina. Nina. Yeah, an organization that's been around for 40 years that transitioned from judges into the hands of Liz who coordinate this and push the best bus forward and we meet marginalized people in our communities where they are to give them employment, education and art. We have different centers, um, career centers being the, the main hub and you have Oakland and now we have San Mateo. Of course we got the double ETC but we have San Mateo and San Mateo is offering JRT, we go into the juvenile, the juvenile teaching job readiness skills as well as well as the different justice department, the SF what was that? Um, South San Francisco. So in South San Francisco, there's different branches that's there where we give. We're doing what no one in San Mateo has done yet. And that's what we're offering 
for the youth, and anybody can get their services through our career advising abilities and everything else. So when we were at WebCore, we met some really good, welcoming people, and uh, we did our presentation. Joffrey did an excellent job. Jessica, thank you for hooking it up. Did a slamming job. And uh, while I was there, I took it upon myself. I took it upon myself to do some uh, visual documents, some some documents. So this is one of the people who I actually worked with. Do you remember her name, Jessica? Um, Elfrida. 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 Yeah. All right, Elfrida. Look, we placed her. We also got some uh, photography and some video as well, but you know, I just, you know, I always like to get this kind of documentation. Like this was, and what's this brother's name? Hi. This is the brother teaching us about the cranes. Kendo, Kendo. And so what they what they did was they, they just talked to us about, a lot about what their job was. And one of the most interesting parts to me was you guys have probably seen this before when they make like big skyscrapers. skyscrapers. The crane. So this is like yeah, it's a crane, Power and he basically explained all of the ins and outs to working on a crane, how long it takes to work on a crane, how dangerous it is to walk under a crane, and all this other stuff. So I thought I would document that for you all too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, after we received our presentation from, Joffrey, from Jessica, we were bored. We had some money. We had to ask them questions to see if they were worthy of the one and a half million dollars we had. Okay, y'all up the ante. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the questions we asked were, what are your obstacles? You know, what's preventing you from growing? Uh, the answer to that one was outreach. You know, we need to get in the trenches and reach out to these people who need the services we're providing. I left my notepad in the car, so okay. Come on and really going on memory. Um, what does your future hold? In five years, where do you see success in it? What's the growth pattern? And that was the area that wasn't really represented in the presentation, so we knocked down the amount of money we were going to give them because we wanted to see what, the future, what their future looked like. Not a lot, but we knocked off some of it. T, what were some of the other questions we asked? We asked four, right? I think, Josh, I think he did explain that in the slides. Did you, some of you guys remember yeah. what he said, what the future of Success Center is, and he started going over it. Do you guys remember what he said? Um, it was the, a uh, picture of Pit Stop. But, no, it's not Pit Stop. Well, yeah, he, he broke it down, right? Yeah. What did he say? Actually, it said the Pit Stop. It was supposed to be the uh, accelerator program, which is the Swinder Kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, was, the only one was paying the <laughs> what, 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 What's the future? Yeah. Uh, the, no, I just told you it was 2010. I'm not saying it was Swinnerton. It was a picture of a toilet, but under it, it was Yassi and Swinnerton. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. And it also said and that it was the studio. studio. The studio. Yeah, was the and what else? A new what? The third one, I don't The janitorial. A new cohort. cohort. Yeah. And when does the new cohort September start? September 12th. Right? And what else is the future? He talked about what? The future of the accelerator program. No, he didn't say, not outreach. He talked about the studio. The studio, oh, yeah. He talked about the green construction. Y'all went back. So, so, what else are you talking about? So, 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 we're going to get to the elevator speech. We found out that Jessica actually wakes up, she gets to the site at about 5.30 in the morning, consistently, just to vouch and, 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 and make sure her, her people and constituents are taken care of. And then she checks on them as they get signed up, make sure mentally they're capable of doing the job and whatever they need, she's there. So, WTC is actually a place, I feel like, um, for the community to start from zero to hero because there's three programs in there. Uh, the educational program, the green construction program, and the pathways program. The education program is a GED program that actually helps some of the students that didn't graduate high school get their diploma, uh, get their GED, and after they finish that, they can actually get into a high school diploma. He said, he said diploma. Okay. And as much time you spent with me yesterday, you should know everything about the program. You spent all day with me. <laughs> Awesome story, you know. Um, I met this young girl. She was 15, 
15 when her mom kind of put her in a situation. She's 19 now, but she was all the way from Florida, came all the way to San Francisco, and uh, she found success centers in, uh, online, or, or somebody told her, and she picked up the phone and called. The next day she came, and she'd been in the program about three years, and I mean, the exercise she's finishing is like she's focused, ready to get it done. She's 19, got a chance to speak with her. She said she wanted to get into uh, real estate also. Okay. So, um, so you have that was black <laughs> right, right. So, um, uh, this, is, this is the Oakland team, right? Yes. Uh, Dominique is our manager. The woman of the hour. Yes. Adrian is our captain. Yeah. Yeah. And Joan and, uh, and, and Topher is doing our pictures and our note keeping. Yeah. All right. All right. So our pitch was this. The Success Center is a nonprofit corporation that provides education, employment, and art. We all oh, I gotta, I gotta You got this, you got this. <laughs> we, we, we assist and support reentry and marginalized individuals in the Bay Area and San Francisco counties. We also provide Support services such as barrier remover, barrier removers, uh, and the right to work documentation. We also provide resources such as uh, housing and child care. We uh, send you some, to somebody else other than ourselves. Uh, we also have an array of uh, programs such as construction, cannabis, and health. And we do believe by you partnership with the Success Center, we can help you benefit those clients that you represent. Now, furthermore, that was our pitch. I want to talk a little about the things that we did. We went to the Wellness House. You know, the Wellness House is a townhouse center in Oakland on Oakland Avenue. And they have a, different, a lot of different programs that they do. It's a stop-in place. They can be referred by people from the county, or you can drop in. Monday through Wednesdays, 1 to 4 p.m., you can drop in for assistance. And as we noticed on the calendar, today was Friday. So when we get there today, Friday, Friday is called Fun Friday. So one of the activities they do today is they go on a wellness walk. So the first question that was asked to the managers, what does that mean? They put them in cars, they might ride to Lake Merrick, and they might walk around and just relax. Because this place deals with a lot of youngsters, old and young adults, and they deal with mental health services and stuff like that. The particular place that we went to, you don't get to stay there. The only thing you get to do is go there for, for uh, resources. The townhouse was created in 1953 by Oakland churches. And, and my team, we, we truly believe that this is going to be a good partnership with us because the kind of work that they do is similar to the work that, they, that we do. They just recently hired a new program manager that's going to start Monday that's dealing with reentry, and that's right up the field because I'm going to be dealing with a lot of reentry uh, re clients myself, so the partnership is going to be great. Now, I don't want to take up all the time because I want to save some time for my, uh, other people to speak. Yeah. All right. Awesome presentation. You were a great host Thank and you. facilitator. And I want to say on behalf of I Know Project Reconnect, I used to go there and do some translation before Success Centers was there. Uh, the, Liz asked me a favor, and I said, of course. I went in there, I was like, wow. You know, a little, you know, quiet, homely kind of place. The work and everything that Miss Dominique has done. Oh my God! The OETC, you might have to find another Adrian. Yes. That place, that place is amazing. She did. From what I can see, when I first went in, I see all the computers, the homely feeling. Dominique did that, and I think she deserves it. That is an awesome place. And the, set, the the townhouse we went to, they feed every day. Breakfast, eight to ten thirty, and lunch, twelve. Was it like 12 to 2? And they serve people all day. They have wellness. Like, you could just walk in and do their wellness stuff. This place is going to be amazing for us, for our clients through Oakland and people that would come to WETC and ask, Do you have this in Oakland? <laughs> to send them to Dominique, to send them to Dominique, and this place, housing, they'll help you. Everything. And the ladies that we met that were amazing. So, kudos to Dominique and 
more power to us in Oakland. <laughs> we gotta come in. This is something that that that, that we decided that we was gonna do because this was truly this was, this was truly a, like Adrian said. This was, because we always talk about other locations and what they do. Now, since I've been working, I always been at the Double ETC, and I thought the Double ETC was the bomb. We got competition now. We number two now because I'm surprised at all the hard work. All right, all right. I'm surprised at the success, and I'm and I'm thankful. We all won. And today is the today is the, yeah, today is the beginning, and that's why today is so important that we all keep in mind that we are one, and by doing this together, we can function as one. Thank you. And uh, the one thing I had to add was, okay. when I was talking with them, it seems like they don't have art programming, and that was a potential like partnership idea. There you as an go. Art program. So. Good looking. Yeah. <laughs> I was fighting it all the way, but I fell in love with it. I want to tell you. <laughs> this career center is one as a hub. So, and film boats. Where the place go? <laughs> we're number one. Even though we're regional, we're still number one. So we're number one as a hub. So I have a number one team here that's going to demonstrate what we've done today. Which is wonderful. So oh, so y'all have me take some water so I can get my introduction like that. Come on. So who's going to give the elevator pitch? You've been talking all I know, but she got to start it off, no, though. She, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> the whole elevator pitch is going to be like this, right? We're going to walk in. We're going to say, hi, how are you guys doing today? We're Success Centers. Um, my name is Giselle. This is my team here. We're a nonprofit organization that likes to provide employment, art, and training services um, to help transition marginalized people into uh, the workforce and have long-term uh, job success. And um, some of the programs we have are YAYS, which offers subsidized employment opportunities, um, Double ETC, which Dre can talk about that. Which we provide a training service where you can also get a high school diploma or a GED. One thing about the training part of the component is that you learn hands-on how to do training. And yes, I wasn't supposed to be the star of the show, but I walked in and so go. The show is over. You know, that's why I've been trying to stay in the back and do my thing. But in actuality, everybody got my mic shy, except for Angela and Lori and me. So we had to do what we had to do there. And so the whole thing what she was teaching us this morning was we got a client and we want to offer our services to them. And our services was training. That's where it started. Now I'm going to let Lori take it from there. No, no, no. Lori, no, no, no. Lori, 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 no. 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 Yeah, so uh, we would have went to um, <laughs> Ur 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 Urbana, and what they really provide there and what their mission is to do is to educate the community about cannabis, and they definitely made it clear that you do not need to know anything about cannabis to work there. So what they do, it's kind of like a school environment. So they they were talking about how they have homework every day, like they have to learn about like strains and CBD and how um, different uh, CBD or THC affects the body. And um, they really emphasized about how they were different from other stores because they have a format where it's an open floor and everything is out in the open and not behind the counters and it's not like standoffish or like people are like hovering over you. They really want to make it seem like it's like a community. Like you can come here, you can look at stuff. We really want to make this like, uh, as like a conversational thing. And they also have a lounge in the back that's open up to the community too. Yeah, they have a lounge in the back and uh, they said like people can go there, you know, they can roll up, do whatever they want to do, have meetings there. They have um, employ employers there as well. 
Um, and he was talking about how they do events in the lounge room as well, too. Um, and I just want to say Andre did his thing because he put the construction program on. How do Success Center present themselves to other organizations and how do we make them a part of us? We have an opportunity and we created a friendship with that cannabis place where they also take interns in as well. And it's about, like you were saying. Just ends, they sealed the deal for you, girl. And, but she had to throw it down. She brought yeah. the hammer, and we just yeah. had to, we were the nails. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So, but the point I liked about it was they're offering opportunity for our group here to learn, to be educated, and also have financial employment with their organization. Yeah. And at the same time, they do um, events around this top city, and they want us to be a part of those events. All right. Woo -hoo. Yeah. So she sealed the deal. Yeah. All right. They were pretty sharp when she told her what she did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're kind of, uh, Urbana has new management. Um, we used to work with Emily, who used to do a lot, and she was very versed on what we do here at Success Centers. Um, but I just told them about the industry apprenticeship uh, program that we're, uh, I mean, internship program that we're launching today. So that? Uh, and it's, it's at 3.30, so we were trying to, Hurry up and get everybody out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, this, this program is, is the, one, the first of its kind in the nation. And so we have really have something to be proud of. Um, this program will give folks a very general, specialized um, view of the industry and what goes on in the industry. Um, they um, will start out with a little bit of history and why cannabis is deemed a uh, Schedule One drug. They're going to learn about cannabis policy and how it all came about. Um, we have uh, uh, cannabis in the body and uh, cannabis products and uses. We're going to teach them about, you know, how to, if you're uh, going to be like a butt tender, uh, you know, what those things do and so they'll be able to start their education and understand how cannabis works in the, in the system with the cannabinoids and all that kind of thing. Uh, then they're going to go into Dispensary Operations 101. Uh, we're partnering with several folks that are helping us put this together because it's not just us it's we've got uh, the parent company which is jay-z's company they're coming in to do our dispensary operations portion where they'll learn um everything about how to do front of house stuff which is um reception security um butt tending um floor working on the floor customer service or getting a, a bit of all of that so they'll understand what's going on there. Then we go into the metal POS system, which is the point of sale system. Um, we have a sandbox environment where they're going to be building a success center dispensary. Whoop, whoop. Uh, virtual, with, with, virtual, virtual, a virtual, virtual success center dispensary. It, it's not real time. It's not real, but they're going to be putting like the, when people come into the dispensary, how to check you in, they're going to learn how to do that. Put your names and stuff in the system. Then when you go to buy your products, they're going to learn how to check you out of the system. And then if they're working in the back of the house, and they will also learn how to do inventory, like when the, the um, vendors come in with product, how that stuff is set up in the system so it goes along with the track and trace system. So this is the first, like I said, of its kind in the nation. This is brought to us by the Dream Keepers Initiative. Uh, Mayor London Breed defunded the police and gave money to success centers. So that they, when they walk into their dispensaries, they're cross-trainable, um, they're, they're being promoted into management positions because they understand the dynamics of what it means to work in a dispensary.